Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to look at how you can navigate the user interface with the machine hardware controller. Most of the navigation can be done using the navigate button. It's to the left of the pads, as you can see here, navigate. And if you click on it, you're going to be presented with some colored lights on the pads. If you're going to be using the navigation mode a lot, you might want to lock it in. And you can do that by pressing this button here above the left LCD panel. Now we have locked into navigation mode. So the way that the pads are laid out is that the top half are for your scenes, the bottom half are for your patterns. Let's go over what the different buttons do. These two buttons will zoom in and out of your scenes. Zoom in and zoom out. And these two buttons will move to the left and to the right. So this will go to the right and this will go to the left. Those are for your scenes. Now below you have your patterns. So this will zoom in on the pattern zoom out, go to the right, go to the left. The one difference being that your patterns have these two extra buttons. This one will go down and this one will go up. So if you have a lot of different sounds in your kit, you can kind of see all of the different sounds by moving up and down. Now there's one problem with using the pads for navigation. You have to go and hit the button every time that you want to move one increment to the right or to the left, zoom in and zoom out. Now that's fine if you just want to move a little bit, but if you've got a really complex arrangement where you've got a lot of sounds, that can take a lot of time to move around. Now the great thing about machine is that there's usually more than one way to do anything. So they've also included those controls on these knobs, which is awesome. So on the left side, we have the scene. So we have zoom in and out with this knob, and we have scroll to the right and to the left on this knob. For the patterns, we go to the right LCD. This one will zoom in and out. We also have right and left and up and down. And it's cool because you can see little indicators on the screen of how far you're zoomed in or moved to the left or to the right. With the navigation mode, there's the option of hiding different elements in the program. For example, let's say that you don't want to see the browser anymore and you want to clear it up so you have more screen real estate for the arranger and the pattern. Well, it's really easy to hide them. You can see we have a couple different options on the right LCD panel. So if I want to hide the browser, I can simply select the button that's above the browser option on the panel and that hides the browser. You can also do the arranger, we can do the parameters and we can do the modulation. So for example, now we have a lot of space to see our pattern. And that is a basic overview of the navigation mode. Now, when you want to exit navigation mode, if you are locked in, you can simply click the nav button and that will return you to the mode that the machine was set to before. Stay tuned for our next video on May 15th, where we take an introductory look at the control mode. You can follow the month of machine 2012 on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And don't forget to visit the DJpodcast.com for more reviews, news, and how-tos.